hello everyone and welcome to coding pics so in this tutorial i will tell you how can you create a new django project if you are a beginner so first of all i will create a folder called as django projects django hyphen projects okay so i will open it right click and open with code visual studio code so make sure that you install visual studio code in your pc since i am using a windows pc i will open terminal new terminal and first of all i will tell you how can you create or install django in your virtual environment so first of all we have to install virtual environment so pip install virtual environment virtual env okay so since i have already installed it it is saying that requirement already satisfied okay so now we will create a folder for virtual environment so type virtual env space and your name so i will name this environment as venv you can give any name press enter sorry the spelling is wrong it will show an error virtual enter so as you can see it is creating a folder named as venv so we will go inside this folder so cd change directory v e n v okay so as you can see here we are currently inside django projects and inside this folder called as v n v okay so we have created but we have not activated this environment so to activate this environment type scripts this command is for windows user only there is different command for linux and mac users forward slash activate dot ps1 so scripts the scripts start with a capital s so scripts forward slash activate dot ps1 enter so as you can see our virtual environment is activated so it is showing here inside the packets okay so now we are ready to install django so first of all to deactivate this virtual environment you have to simply type deactivate okay so this will deactivate this virtual environment so we will again activate it okay so pip install django so this command will install the latest django version press enter it will take few minutes to install okay so as you can see here the django version 4.0.3 is installed to check the version again django hyphen admin hyphen hyphen version so see the version is 4.0.3 which is the latest django version so first of all we will create a django project so again django admin start project so we are creating a 
website. So we will name it as web page. Again, you can name anything. So this is the web page folder. So we will start the server. So Python manage dot py. So as you can see here, this is the uh, folder called uh, sorry file Python file called as uh, manage dot py, which is inside this web page project manage dot py run server. run server so as you can see it is showing an error okay so it is showing an error can't open uh, view.manage.py no such file or directory okay since we are in v in v in e and v that is our virtual environment folder we have to come in inside this folder called as web page okay so again change directory web page so now we are inside this web page folder so again python manage.py run server so i will press control and click so congratulations this is our first django project so i will close it I will stop this server by pressing Control C. Okay, since it is showing an uh, error that you have 18 unapplied migrations, so we have to install migration as well. So Python manage.py migrate is the command for installing all the migration. And if we run now, it will not show any error. Okay. So now uh, I will stop the server by pressing control C and now we will create an application. So again, Django admin start app, start app and we will name it as app. Okay. Since it will be simple to distinguish between the project folder that is a web page and the application okay so this is the app which is inside the web page folder okay and this is the project folder called as web page okay so this is the app and this is the project folder so now first of all we uh, will require templates for storing our html file so we will select this web page create a new folder called as templates okay so this is a template folder so now i will create index dot html there should be dot not comma dot html and i will create an another html file called as about dot html you can also create uh, about index.html, which is our home page, about.html, contact.html, but for time being, I will make it as simple as possible. So I will give an heading. This is home page. Okay. So similarly, I will copy this and I will paste it inside the about.html. Okay, and this is about page, about page, okay. So first of all, we have to create a new URL.py file inside this app, okay. As you can see, our web page folder have urls.py, but our applications do not have urls.py. So I will create a new Python file urls.py okay inside that i will open it and i will open the urls.py which is under web page okay 
by using visual studio code you can easily distinguish between the two files okay so from urs.py web page python file i will copy this i will simply copy it and paste it under the apps urls.py i will also write a comment called as app u r l s okay so first of all we have to import views since we are going to link the html files from app import views okay Okay, so first of all, we have to link this index.html page, which is under templates. So we have to open settings.py. Okay, and we have to give the name under templates. You, you have to write under the single quotations. P L A T S. Make sure that the spelling is matching templates. T M P L A T S. And we have also installed an app, so we have to declare here. Okay, so under install app, you have to give our app name, which is app. Okay, so whenever an user will bring an empty path, so it will show. index page okay index page is our home page so sorry view dot index so our index is nothing but our home page so i will give it as home okay so we will use include here so now under the urls dot py which is under the app folder we will give a path for our home page which is empty include app dot urls okay okay so we will now open views.py which is under the app folder so def index we are using this for index page request return render index.html okay so we are using this for our index.html page so whenever a user with will come with an empty path so he will be directed to index page so now we will see whether it is working or not okay so it is working so this is the home page so it is showing this heading okay so as you can see the path is empty here there is no path so it will always show index.html which is our home page 
okay so similarly we will do do this for our about page so for about.py i will uh, simply copy this control v i will name it as about and similarly i will write app dot urls dot about okay so that's it for then i will open urls dot py under the web page so simply again i will copy this i will paste it here the path is about views dot about and the name is about okay so again i will open views dot py simply i will copy this i will paste this and this is for about page make sure that you spell it correctly about request render about dot html okay so as you can see i will refresh it and i will type forward slash about okay so as you can see this is about page and when i will keep the path as empty so it will show that this is home page okay so now we have to link this index.html home page and about.html so for that i will use anchor tag percentage symbol okay uh, about page url and i will name it as about so since you have to go to about page i will uh, type about since i have already created the name in the web page url so see this is a name about so it should match under the links anchor tag okay so i will okay so as you can see whenever i click on the about page link i will be shifted to about page so similarly i will add to about page ads as well so i will name it as index and this is index page okay so i will save it refresh it okay so i will click here about page so it is not matching there is some error okay we have not changed okay so it is working so sorry the name was home page not about so the name should perfectly match so i will write it as home page so i will again clear this so this is the home page whenever i click here i will be directed to about page and uh, if i click here i will be directed back towards the home page okay so that's it for today thank you for watching